Leaves are indeed the food factories of plants, playing a crucial role in photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert light energy into chemical energy. To understand how leaves function in this capacity, it is important to delve into the complex internal structure, which consists of various specialized cells and tissues working together efficiently. From the outside, leaves are typically green due to the presence of chlorophyll, the pigment essential for photosynthesis. Leaf shapes can vary widely among different plant species, but the fundamental components are similar. Now, let's discuss this internal structure in detail. The outermost layer of the leaf is the epidermis, which is covered by a waxy cuticle. This cuticle helps reduce water loss and protects the leaf from mechanical damage and pathogens. The epidermis also contains stomata, small openings regulated by guard cells, which control gas exchange and transpiration. Beneath the epidermis lies the mesophyll, which is divided into two layers, palisade mesophyll and spongy mesophyll. Palisade mesophyll consists of elongated cells rich in chloroplasts, the organelles where photosynthesis occurs. The cells are tightly packed to maximize light absorption. Spongy mesophyll located below the palisade layer, the spongy mesophyll has loosely arranged cells with air spaces in between. These spaces facilitate the exchange of gases necessary for photosynthesis and respiration. Vascular bundles embedded within the mesophyll, also known as veins, which consist of xylem and phloem tissues. Xylem transports water and minerals from the roots to the leaves. Phloem distributes the sugars from the leaves to other parts of the plant. Within the mesophyll cells, photosynthesis takes place in the chloroplasts. Chloroplasts contain thylakoids, which are stacked into structures called grana. These thylakoids hold chlorophyll and other pigments that capture light energy. During photosynthesis, light energy is used to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. The overall process can be summarized by this equation. Now, let's briefly discuss some of the supporting structures in plant leaf. Guard cells regulate the opening and closing of stomata to balance gas exchange and water retention. Cuticle is a protective film that minimizes water loss. Bundle sheath cells surround the vascular bundles and are involved in the regulation of substances entering and exiting the vascular tissues. So, the complex internal structure of leaves, with its specialized cells and tissues, makes them highly efficient at capturing light energy, conducting photosynthesis, and transporting the resulting nutrients throughout the plant. This intricate design underscores the crucial role of leaves in the survival and growth of plants. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and thanks for watching.